In this video, I'm going to show you how to effectively hyperlink in Microsoft Outlook, Word, and Excel. When hyperlinking, you always want to ensure that your hyperlinks are user-friendly and have an easily readable name. Keep in mind there are many ways that you can use hyperlinking. For example, you can link to a web page, a place in a document, or an existing file. You can even link to an email address. Okay, let's begin with how to effectively hyperlink in Microsoft Outlook. I now have opened my Microsoft Outlook new email template. I've already pre-populated my to field and my subject field, and now I'm going to begin drafting my email. In this case, I want to share a web page hyperlink. You copy and paste the web address from the search box and then you paste it directly into the body of the email. What's nice about Microsoft is most times it will convert your link into a user-friendly, easily readable name, but not always. And what if you want the link to be embedded in the text as opposed to a separate link underneath? Here's how you would do that. Start by highlighting the words that you want hyperlinked. Once they're highlighted, right-click. Then scroll down to where it says link, paste the address that you want hyperlinked in the section that says address at the bottom, and then click OK. You can see that now my two words that I highlighted have changed color to indicate that there is a hyperlink there. So I can remove this link, and now the recipient of my email could just click directly on the words clicking here. If you would like to link to an existing file to make your hyperlink user friendly, I do recommend hyperlinking specific words opposed to adding the link separately in the body of your email. It just makes it more user friendly and easily readable. So I'm going to highlight the words this document. I'm going to right click and then go down to link. If I hover over the arrow, it will pull up my most recent files. So I can choose from here which file I may need to link in this email. I can also search for files or directly insert a link like I showed you before. So I'm going to link my hyperlink training document by clicking on the document. You can see the words this document are highlighted and if I hover over them, I can see the link that it is directly linking to. So again, instead of displaying the hyperlink this way, which is very difficult to read and not as user friendly, it now reads this way. Now I'm in Microsoft Word and the hyperlink steps are identical to the ones I just showed you in Microsoft Outlook. That's what's great about Microsoft. Most times, all of their applications, you can follow the same steps to do similar actions. I'm going to follow the same steps I followed in Outlook. First type, the words that you want hyperlinked and then highlight the words that you would like hyperlinked. Right click, click on link. Instead of right clicking, you can also keyboard shortcut control K. It will open up the same box. You see here at the top where it says text to display. Those are the two words that I highlighted. So I know that those words are going to be the words that are hyperlinked. And then down here is where I'm going to paste. Again, I'm using the website, so I'm going to click OK. And now here you can see my words, this website are automatically hyperlinked. You can also hyperlink an image. If you insert an image into any Microsoft application and want that image to be hyperlinked, you follow the same steps if you are hyperlinking words. First, click on the image, right click, then click link. That image can be hyperlinked to a web page, a place in a document, an existing file, or an email address, just like the words can. Once you add the address there, or choose the specific area where you want your image to be linked, then you click OK. Now, if I hover over this image, you can see the website that this image is hyperlinked to. Anybody that comes to this document and clicks on this image will now be automatically sent to where that image has been hyperlinked. And finally, I wanted to show you how to hyperlink in an Excel workbook. Again, all the same steps can be followed. For example, if I would like to hyperlink this cell, 
I would click on the cell. Again, I can right click and then go to link or I can click control K on my keyboard. Here I'm going to choose if my cell is going to be linked to a specific location within my workbook or if it's going to link to an existing web page or current file that I have that's outside of the workbook. So here's where you would choose those different options. For this purpose, I'm going to show you how to link this cell to a place in this workbook. So I want to link the cell that states New York to the tab that says autofill. So I'm going to click that and click OK. Now when I click New York, it's going to bring me directly to the autofill tab. Now, if I go back to my worksheet that I hyperlinked on and I want to insert another hyperlink, I can go back down to link. Again, I could choose a specific file that I want hyperlinked in here. I am now right clicking and I also want to insert the video. Now, you can see that this did not come across the way I would like it to come across. It has the URL typed out, which isn't necessarily user-friendly or easily readable. So I wanna change that. If you right click and then scroll down to where it says edit hyperlink, this now will open up that box again and you can choose what text you want displayed here. Once you have it displayed correctly, now you click okay. And you can see that that immediately changed the display text to be what I wanted it to say, make it more user friendly. But if I click the link, it brings me directly to the website that I wanted linked. There are many different ways to use hyperlinks. Today we went over some of the basics, but if you have any questions, I want further training on hyperlinks. Don't forget, you can always book time with me on the NASA BOCES What the Tech website by scrolling down and clicking book time to meet with me or email me directly and I'll send you my bookings link. Now you know how to effectively use hyperlinks in Microsoft Outlook, Word, and Excel. Stay tuned for next week's What The Tech Tip. See you then.